Hey guys, welcome back to this video series on the Postman tool. Today I'm going to show you a very interesting feature of Postman where you can capture network requests using a Postman feature and you can also sync your cookies, right? So today we are going to talk about uh, the Postman interceptor, right? If you go to the Postman work, workspace and on the top right hand side, there is a satellite icon. Right. And when you hover over it, it tells capture requests and cookies with Postman. So that's exactly what I'm talking about, right? So as you can see here, there are two tabs, requests and cookies. So we will be looking at both of them. But before that, um, you need to set up the interceptor, right? Now, what is inter interceptor? It is a Chrome extension, right, which works with postman hand in hand to capture network requests so whatever you um, from your browser right so whatever you are browsing um, whenever you, and your intercepted interceptor is on right a setup it can capture all the requests from your browser right so we'll see how it happens but first let's set set our uh, postman interceptor okay so there are two steps to installing or setting up a Postman Interceptor. We need to install the Interceptor bridge, which will connect to the Chrome extension. And then we need also have the Chrome extension, right? So in your Chrome browser, you can go and uh, search for Postman Interceptor extension, okay? And uh, that will give you the Postman Interceptor extension, right? So from there, you can add this extension to your browser. Okay, so this is the extension. And you can simply add it to Chrome, add extension. Right, so Interceptor has been added to Chrome and you will see um, a sign for the Postman Interceptor, right? So this is, our, this is the first step. Now going to the second step, you need to click on this satellite icon, right? Um, and by default, it will be set to proxy, but uh, we need to set it to interceptor, okay? Now, interceptor is disconnected, that's fine. Now, there are two ways of actually capturing the request, right? Okay, so you can capture it to the history, right? So all the requests will be captured to the history or you can create a collection, right? So we'll look at both of them. And then uh, the second step of setting up Interceptor is installing this Interceptor bridge, right? So uh, just click on this and then it will download the bridge and set it up for you, right? Now, when you're working with Windows, it's very important if you get any errors here, like, um, like it is not able to uh, edit your registries, like right? so registry error if it throws. You need to um, go to, you need to make sure that uh, you have added this to your path, right? So let me just show you. So you need to go to your environment variables and then you need to go to your path, right? Click on edit and just make sure this last line, C Windows System 32 is added to your environment variable. If it is not added, you will probably get a registry error. Uh, Postman is not able to uh, edit your registry, right? So you need to, you need to enable, in order to enable that, or in, it, in order to enable Postman to edit your registry, you need to add that path in your environment variables, right? So very important. Okay, so meanwhile, installation is complete, right? And it is connecting to the interceptor now, okay? Okay, so our interceptor is connected. As you can see here, you will see a green signal, right? If it is not, and it was throwing some error, you need to, uh, in case of uh, Windows, right? Uh, it is just required that you are having that access to registry. It can edit that registry. Windows registry, right? Uh, in case of Mac, uh, it also needs to install Node.js, okay? 
Okay, so coming back, right? Uh, we'll be looking at how to capture the requests in Postman. Okay, so in order to capture requests, you need to switch this. By default, this will be off, but you can turn it on now. Now, as I said, you can save it to the history or you can save it to a collection. So let's first look at the history part, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of minimize this window so that we can look at both. Okay, so let's go to github.com. And as you can see on the history tab, some of some links are getting automatically captured. So these are basically your get your get requests for github.com, right? So whatever I browse in my browser, it's going to capture. So let's see it side by side, right? So we don't need this now. Okay, so we, we just want to look at the history, history tab. Okay, so let's click on pull requests. And as you can see, now it has got github.com slash pulls. Right, so whatever I do on my um, browser, it will be captured, the network will be captured, network activity will be captured in this history tab. So it's a really cool feature if you are not aware of your API and you are playing around um, with your API, which has been developed very recently, right? You want to see what, what are the requests for each functionality, you can easily do that with Interceptor, right? It will capture all the, all the history and everything, right? So it doesn't matter uh, which website you are browsing, it, it is going to capture everything, okay? So if I open anything else, right? So yahoo.com. So it's going to capture um, all the things, okay? So this is how uh, Network Interceptor works. Now, as I was talking about, you can also capture it to a collection, right? So how to do that? So let's create a new collection. Uh, I will create something like this. Okay, network request. Now in the interceptor, just go to save as request to network request, okay? And now, if you see, okay, so now it will be captured in this folder. So um, let's browse something else, right? Um, maybe Selenium. Okay, let's go and browse the Selenium web driver, or even for that matter, you can also browse Postman, the Postman official website, right? Okay, so let's have a look at, as you can see, there are already 24 requests being saved on your collection, right? So it is capturing all the requests, all the possible requests, which is currently present in your browser, okay? So if I go here, okay, so as you can see, there are different Postman get requests which are being captured, okay? So, this is how you can capture your requests from your browser um, using the Postman Interceptor. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can capture the cookies, right, using the Postman Interceptor. 
uh, it's a very interesting feature because if you are looking to authenticate your APIs using cookies, this could be very handy, right? So we are going to look at that in the next video. So do join me and thanks for watching.